All right, so I'll show you guys the notification I just got. Uh, so as you can see here <clears throat> in my, just by, you know, drag down whatever the screen is, um, there's a Ford Pass alert that's uh, saying that the collision assist is unavailable. It's saying that uh, the system has detected that the radar signals from the sensors have been obstructed. The vehicle ahead cannot be detected and the collision warning system will not function properly. Uh, so yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. So let's click in here and see, uh, see if it gives any more details. So I started seeing this after uh, the truck had a bunch of snow on it, and then I uh, took it to the car wash, and, and it, the car wash didn't get all the, the snow and ice off. So I'm um, thinking something built up on the sensors in the front. Um, so yeah, it looks like, uh, so this is the same message that I saw in the, the drop down, you know, uh, earlier. Uh, so clean the grill surface in front of the radar or remove the object causing the obstruction. If the surface of the sensor is clean, but the message remains displayed, uh, wait a short time. And that's what I was kind of doing. I wasn't too worried about it the first time. Uh, if the problem persists, you know, have it, you know, take it to the dealer. Uh, so it's dark out right now. So I will, uh, wait till the morning and I'll show you guys what the front of the truck looks like and see if there's anything actually, uh, you know, obstructing it. All right. So it's the following day. Let's take a look at the front here. So it looks like the, the little tiny sensors are fine. Those aren't covered. Those are like your proximity sensors. And the camera, that looks okay. So I wonder if there's some hidden sensors in the bumper uh, that I'm, that, you know, that just aren't visible. And those are covered by some of this ice. I'm gonna run through the car wash again today and see if, uh, uh, you know, if that error message goes away. So this is the alert inside the vehicle uh, that the sensors blocked. So, uh, you know, I'm seeing it both in the vehicle and on the app, which uh, again, I think that's a great idea that the, uh, uh, the app is, uh, you know, giving me alerts and, and it actually is giving me a second alert now, um, you know, while the vehicle was moving. So uh, I, I actually really like this feature. It also means that my cruise control is no longer working, um, which kind of sucks because even if I turn some of the features off like lane assist and uh, things like that, it, uh, it still won't let me turn the cruise control on, which is probably a safety thing again. So you, as you can see, you can get cruise control to turn back on if you just go to features and then uh, go to, uh, you know, change it to normal cruise control mode. You know, if you're on a long road trip or something and you just can't pull over and, and clear off that front bumper. So I just took the truck through the car wash again, and um, the the alerts basically saying the sensors were blocked, you know, went away, uh, which, which I expect. You, you know, most of these vehicles nowadays, you know, with the way the sensors are in the front, it doesn't take much snow or ice. But I just wanted to outline, you know, how little, you know, buildup you, you know, can have up there. You know, it was a very small amount and still have those sensors blocked. So, so in the winter when you got a bunch of snow, ice, salt, sand, all that, uh, you know, you'll have to keep your, your vehicle a little cleaner, which, you know, is probably better overall for it anyways, uh, especially here where we, we use a ton of salt on the road. So it just gives you an excuse to, to keep your car cleaner. Uh, not only that, but I thought it was really cool that um, the Ford F-150 uh, Ford Pass app actually notifies you as well. Uh, it, and it was like later at night that it, it notified me, which is kind of nice because sometimes, you know, you drive and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, next time I, I'll go, you know, I'll clean it up next time I get, get in the car. But then you're already in the car and you're driving and then you're like, oh shoot, I forgot that uh, <laughs> that, that this isn't going to work. So, uh, so it was kind of nice that uh, the Ford Pass app does alert you uh, that, that there's, you know, some of these problems, you know, with the vehicle. Not that it's a, really a problem. Them, but uh, but I'd be interested to see uh, if you guys seen any other alerts uh, other than you know normal um, you know low tire pressure door open close for security alert and and, and this alert um, you know let me know in the comments below if uh, if you've seen some other interesting alerts that uh, that have been helpful for you. One last thing before we end this episode is I just spotted the first Hyundai Santa Cruz pickup truck in the wild that I've seen before. Uh, I mean, if you want to call that a pickup truck. It's pretty interesting design. Uh, it actually reminds me of the old Subaru Baja. Uh, it's a little bigger in the passenger area than I thought it would be, but uh, the, the bed is definitely pretty small, but you know, you wouldn't expect much else because it's kind of built on like, a, looks like a you know small SUV type frame. So if you guys thought this was helpful, uh, like the video and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Have a good one.